Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part four of the casting of Frank Stone. Quick recap time. Well, it seems that Lady Augustine has been traversing the multiverse to find different versions of Murder Mill to bring back Frank to the real world. Um, there's been some kind of weird temporal time flux capacitating thing going on with Chris as she went back to, well, she went back to 1980s. Um, yeah, so let's continue. This is chapter 12. Closing the noose. So far, everyone's alive, which I'm it? frankly what you surprised think? about. I don't see anything. Doesn't mean it's not there. What did Stan see? Just when I thought I had a handle on this place. Getting lost in here is like putting your brain through an egg slicer. <laughs> what? Stan's losing the plot. Uh, nothing. I, I was just thinking that if someone asked me to explain what happened back there, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. This night just keeps going and going. Yeah. But you know something? We were here for hours and everything was totally normal. Well... You know what I mean. Things only started going off the rails when Sheriff Shithead showed up. You don't know that he's got anything to do with it. You don't know that he doesn't. Well, what do we do now? Very true. I only got one option, you know? Which is? Get the fuck out of here as soon as humanly possible. What about Linda? Powder! Linda's a badass. She can take care of herself. Hopefully we'll just run into her along the way. Oh, that's not the attitude, Stan. United we stand, divided we fall. All right. So you want to tell me what was going on with that kid? Kid? Girl in the sarcophagus. I don't know much more than you do. She said she knew my mom, but it didn't make any sense. Not much around here does lately. I wish I had more time to talk to her. I just hope she got back to wherever she was... Going back to the 80s. Right, so we have been down these hallways before. Um, none of these doors... Aha! Just as I say that. That bed looks pretty tempting right now. Not gonna lie. Looks like the kind of bed they'd use to sacrifice virgins in some old horror movie. Um, it's just a bed, guys. I think Augustine lured us in here on purpose. Hmm. So she could... Sacrifice one of us? Well, there is one way we could ensure our safety. Gross, dude! Find a key for the box. Needs a key. Alright. Uh, what do we have here? A little locket? Ah, is this another locket that we found down in the sewers? Yeah, the same locket. Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What's that? Uh, it's hmm. a pendant. There was a picture of it in that book. It explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. I didn't even think it was real, but... Huh. Yeah. Well, maybe I should hold on to it. Just in case. Just in case it actually works? Yeah. I mean, I almost got killed once tonight. Find his keepers take it indifferent um will this offer any protection we found it down in the sewers in the 60s and that seemed to be the same face so maybe this locket's gone through time as well i'll give it to stan yeah i'm not sure about that sure fine take it Is Stan going to be doing some time traveling as well then? Is he going to be going in the sewers? Uh, what do we have here? We have a book. The History of... Oh. Looks boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. The History of Lowe's and Other Hundreds. Hidden Meanings. The changing nature of language often results in a lack of modern consensus on the etymology of certain place names. Even those that seem patently obvious may be hiding a myriad of meanings. 
For example, there is an East Anglian town named Woodbridge that histor historians doubt ever had a literal wooden bridge. Even if it had, such a thing is unlikely to have been considered a noteworthy innovation given the town's layout and the technology of its old and recorded settlements. What is it? What is this telling me here? What? What? Ah, uh, that's what it's telling me. Hello. Now that's not boring. Blood may be that which binds us in this world, for upon the spilling of life's blood shall a man find himself moving into the next. Why then, if a soul may naturally move from one reality into a higher one by the shedding of his blood, should we be surprised to learn such shedding may draw the gaze of that higher reality? We might therefore conclude it is simply the act of taking life, not any passage of our souls, that brings these worlds together. In doing so, we might form our own gates between this world and the other, and, in doing so, perchance move them while we yet live. Oh, what wisdom we might glean from the worlds of the ancients, what knowledge might be but a single sacrifice away. How to return is another matter, if the death of our own. Okay. So we did find the key in the book, and, um, oh, I didn't pause the game. So the game's just pausing itself. All right. Blood sacrifices made to el Elder Gods will open up a path to their realm. Interesting. But does that mean I'm going to have to spill someone's blood? That's the only way to banish Cranky Boy. Who knows? Let's wind up this music box. Little dancing man. Is he a ninja or something? Uh, secret passageways. We do like huh? the secret passageways. That is pretty slick. Hmm. Oh, Stan. Yeah, sure. A secret passage. Why not? You've got the mystical pendant. I don't know why I'm going first. Linda did also, from reading from that, say that the pendant was from his past victims. Which doesn't bode well. That obviously didn't really do much protecting, is what I'm thinking. Did this just take us... We don't want to move the storyline just yet. See if there's any... Aha, uh -huh. what is this? This is Dr. Augustine Lieber conducting court-mandated psychological session 5 with patient Frank Stone. March 28th, 1961. Wait... That's Augustine. Since our last but 1961? Frank, an attack. That's an over orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling? This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others, to punish them, I don't believe it is wholly errant. These sessions are all about taking responsibility, Frank. Not just for your past, but for your future, too. Yes. You have a future. And it could be boundless. You simply have to trust me. Well, we knew that Augustine had a, a hold over Frank seen his uh, diary in his first layer but that doesn't really explain how she's maintained Twins are creepy that's just a fact <laughs> <laughs> her age I mean if she's been using this temporal device as such. We had 11 or 12. I'm not sure we're going to be able to find the... I think we've missed the, the 12th one, but there you go. All right, let's go back through the door, I guess. Um, yeah, how is she maintaining her age? The only kind of way I can think of it is that she's been using the temporal device herself. And if these are... If we're talking about multiverses and different realities, these are different Augustines, right? It's a very nice extension. 
Home movies. You need to understand. Hell yeah. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! Ah, uh, the gang's all back. I'm so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of nowhere. Maddie, listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. He is an imposter. We cannot trust him. I will admit. Time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? Yeah, I'm gonna go with supportive. I don't know if I would have said this an hour ago, but after what I just experienced, I think Sam might be right. Augustine's lying to us. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way over our heads. You should have seen this chamber and the girl. I don't trust Augustine, but I trust this man even less. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending to be someone from your past. Oh, great, out of the frying pan? I don't like any of what's going on anymore. I think we should just get the fuck out. Yep. Looks like we're going to be watching Murder Mill. Is this the movie you made? Yeah. It is. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. Didn't we put them all in a bowl? I thought Augustine took them. Maddie? Apparently we've I got them. I need to see right. the actual film. What? Where is it? Now the old switcheroo. No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was right in here. Do you still have yours? So, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of, sort of, might have already made a deal with Augustine. Oh, Stan. I, it was before anybody else got here. I, I just went ahead. I mean... It would be, it would be, he wouldn't have known at the time, but I'm just going to go with uh, the outraged. You fucking weasel, you are lying to us from the second we got here. Come on now, it wasn't personal. <gasps> Unfucking believable I didn't even know you. Augustine just, you know, paid me a little extra to hang around, keep you company. It, <laughs> it sounded fun. <laughs> hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here? Hmm. Chapter 13, Murder Mill. Oh, we're from the POV of uh, Mr. Frank Stone. Looks like we're going to be using the camera again. Is Chris just clothesline there? I have a feeling if we didn't do that in time, Chris may have been died. Oh, well, now I've got to save Bonnie. Come on, Linda. 
Oh. Oh my god. Okay then. Looks like we've had our first death. It's Bonnie. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about that though. But hang on, this... so... <laughs> if Bonnie died there... Mom? Is this an alternative version of Bonnie? No, that's not what happened. Hmm. Now let's go with comforting. Don't look at it. Just don't look at it. I uh, think it's about time I just kinda made my exit. <laughs> Yeah, because this Maddie said that her mum, Bonnie, died only a couple of months ago, right? So that's, uh, and obviously, we're obviously dealing with alternative versions of the characters here, is what I'm guessing. We haven't seen Robert for a while. We were in the old machine shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and... That was from... I know. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But Dad... Looks like it's gonna be up to Sam again to kill Frank Stone. And we're playing as Sam now. But we do not have the Super 8mm camera, so we're not really going to have much in the way of defense against the, um, the Ghost Wraith. Oh, what am I looking at there? Oh, it's... Bonnie. I don't think there was anything I could have done there to save Bonnie. Oh too late. We've never played as Bonnie, so I think in this instance she's just superfluous to needs. It's me. It's me. Oh god, Damn all it. it. I, I told you to... What... What happened? Wait, I'm coming with you. I gotta help. No, 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 Robert. Whatever's down there is too dangerous. I can't let you get hurt. I can't. But it's my fault. I got them in here. I... If you don't listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're going to listen to me. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Back here, the nightmare repeating itself. I gotta find them. Does Sam not have a flashlight on him? I guess not. All right. Uh, find the teenagers in the storm drain. Oh, what do we have? Ah, uh, here we go. Oh. No, it doesn't look like I can go anywhere else, so it looks like we're picking up the camera. It looks like we'll be fighting Frank Stone. Those kids and their damn movie. 
Do you think Linda would have dropped that though? The only form of defense? I don't know. Oh, and he's right there. Linda. Well, surely he was right here, right? Is that what we're saying? Uh, squeezing through. Something about this camera. Maybe it's the key to all of this. This isn't right. It feels like he's here. Remember, when that camera turns red. Oh, have we found someone here? Get it together, Sam. Come on now. For them. see anyone. It's not a doll. Ugh. We've got the kids screaming in these tunnels, but um, I'm not entirely sure where they are. Oh, there's some blood on the wall there. All right. Ah, we found Hami. Sorry, son. This is gonna sting. Has he been impaled as well? Please. God damn it. No. Oh. And Linda. It, it had her. Me and Amanda. That thing just tossed her up on a hook like she was nothing. And Linda, she freaked the fuck out. And she started filming it with the camera as if that was gonna hurt it. But like, I don't know how, but it did. It tried to get away, but Linda was gonna make that fucker pay for what it did to Bonnie. And we followed it. Down here. Didn't realize it had, had us where, where it wanted us until it was too late. Jaime. Your sister. You did. I'm sorry. He is watching us. Now you expect us to make a run for it. The smart play is to stay put for now. I'll come back for you as soon as I find Linda. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Are you going to be okay? <laughs> Go pathetic. So, we found Harmy. That door was busted open, right? So I'm guessing we're going through here. Come on, Sam.
No. That was the way we um, already came. Well, let's carry on down this way then, perhaps. Oh. I'm hearing struggle grunts. Linda. Shit. Oh. I gotta help her before it's too late. Yeah, well stop messing around on the stairs then, Sam. Pushing you back, Frank. Pushing you back. Huh. We doing some busting some moves there. Well, hang on. Huh. Let's just check down these little passageways because there could be. Oh, it's just another doll. These monstrosities are everywhere. No time to waste on this. I thought we'd either find Chris or Linda down one of these little tunnels, but apparently not. But, yep. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's just that goddamn trinket box again. We're gonna move. We're gonna get out of here. You escaped from state. Okay, so we could have died, I guess. Yeah, that's another possibility. Sam could have just perished, I guess, down there. We don't use the camera well. Well, we found Linda. Go. Get up. I'll hold it off. Come on, Sammy boy. Robert, don't mess with what I'm doing here. We're catching ghosts. We're ghost busting. So yeah, we are essentially taking the essence, the life force, into the camera. So, okay. We haven't found Chris, though. He's getting closer. Yeah, Robert. Save Linda. Get out of there. Let your dad do the legwork. What's happening? Movie magic. What? Movie magic. Forget it. Come on, Linda. I don't think now's the time to be oh. making quips. No, there's Chris. And Harmony. I mean, it has exploded before when we had the camera on it, but I think, I think, is it over? We've blown it up for good. Back in the eighties, we've trapped his soul no. into the camera. No. There's still one thing left we got to do. What have we got to do? 
destroy the camera. Massacre at Garrett Manor. I think we're coming into the end game now. I get a feeling that we're coming into the end game. I don't know how many chapters there are. We're on 14. So is the film they're watching then a different alternative reality where maybe Frank Stone didn't get... Oh, okay. Stan. What are you doing, Stan? Accuse Augustine. Confront Stan. I think Stan's trying to make a break for it, so let's confront Stan. Now you hold on a goddamn second. What the fuck? Get off me! Do you understand what you've done here? Do you have any idea? Who cares what she does with this shitty little B-movie? Just let it go, old man! You're a joke! And here's the punchline. No. I'm not going to attack Stan. <sighs> and you're a coward. I could just beat the shit out of you now, you know? I just showed restraint, Stan. Come on. I'm not going to suit to your level. Uh oh. Uh oh. You! You lied to me! I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't! You promised me! It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. Uh, My it's like a genie, huh? Died. You knew I was grieving, and you took advantage of me! Yep. A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for, and a lot of hell to pay! Oh, Frankie boy's coming through the through the screen. Help. Help oh, Stan. Me. Oh, Stan. Help! Help me get him! I mean, oh, is this Frank need? Oh shit! Does Frank need uh, someone to be his vessel? Is that is like he needs? Oh no! Sacrifice yourself. Oh, uh, we gotta come on. This is an alternative Sam anyway, right? We want Lynn to survive. I mean Sam's Sam's led a good life. Oh dear. I think we messed up there. I think we messed up. Oh. Oh, he's absorbing Sam. Sorry, Sam. Yeah, this definitely feels like endgame territory now. I think there's going to be a lot more deaths before this is over. <laughs> oh dear. I'm ready, I'm ready for the quick time events now. My finger's ready. He's just going to kill Augustine, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Is he going after Stan, or is he going after Linda and Maddie? He's not too uh, clever on his feet, he's stumbling a bit. Doing little dance moves. Oh, I 
Okay, so Sam's inside him. Oh, he's cutting out chunks of himself. Maybe sacrificing Sam wasn't wasn't that bad then. He's going to be able to help us from inside Frank Stone. Or well, the zombified version of Frank Stone, at least. Is Stan going to have a chance here to get away, or...? Ah, the pendant. <laughs> Make a break for it, Stan. Make a break for it. Oh, crap. oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> so, I think we should have prob- yeah. We probably shouldn't have tried to save Stan in the first instance with the quick time event there. We should just let him die, shouldn't we? And then he would have been absorbed into uh, Frank Stone and Sam would still be alive. That's what I'm thinking. Oh well, you live and learn. You live and learn. That's how we got down here. There has to be another way out. Find a way to power the elevator. Work? Well, I must be losing it. You never know. Please tell me you understand what... Uh, what? What the fuck just happened back there? Yeah. Believe me. I wish I knew. Um... Ah. Is this door? Uh, another generator. If we can get that working, oh, we can probably power the elevator. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's hope I pass the checks. Because I don't have a camera this time to help me fight off Frank Stone. I think the generator still works, but it's missing some parts. Surprise, surprise. Issue for new renew. This card is lost, stolen, misplaced. Report it immediately to the security office. See, does still reserve the right to revoke. Ah. Okay, that's not a part though. I need for the generator. Uh, this does look like one though. And then we have one over here. I don't really see the the point of this if you're just going to have the parts right there. But um, okay. Let's, um, let's try this now. I feel this could be an instant death scene, so let's hope that I can, uh, get it right. Ooh. Golden. Do you think that picks the elevator? I guess we're going to find out. So we've lost Stan, we've lost Sam, we've lost Bonnie. We ran as Harmay. Son of a bitch. Oi! Sam? Oh, Sam's helping us. Thanks, Sam. Even in death, you're still helping us against Frank. Oh, don't cut out Sam's head. Go. All distracted. 
Oh, Linda, what are you doing? What are you doing, Linda? No. Oh, Linda. I think we saved Maddie, though. Linda, I'm not so sure she's going to make it out of this alive. Are we here to destroy the machine, perhaps? How the fuck did I ever end up here? Hmm. Are we going to be um, fighting against... Yep. Lady Augustine. I'm so glad we're finally able to talk one-on-one. -on -one. The fuck are you... What have you done? Ah, yes. A regrettably unavoidable series of misfortunes. I don't expect you to understand everything at play here, but... Suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelette without breaking the proverbial eggs. Eggs? We're not fucking eggs! You, you lied! You cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible monster hunting us! I have never lied to... Give me a fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares go away. I will make them go away. All this pain. All this trauma. Gone. You just need to tell me you want me to. No. No. Go fuck yourself, lady. Let me just think it over. Go fuck yourself. And I'm so very sorry for you. No, you're not. Oh, was that it? There wasn't like a kind of final showdown? Hmm. Oh, goddamn. Okay, ready for the quick time events. We know they're coming. Oh, no. Jump over the balcony. Yeah. Come on, Maddie. Leave the house. Does that mean that Maddie has escaped? So we've just got Linda. She said she was going to distract Frankstone, so. Okay. Frank Stone is finally the man he was meant to be. My champion. A killer worthy of the entity. The bleed between worlds is open, split apart by sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. And what of me? The one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige, as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the Entity to your world. I kind of get the feeling this isn't the greatest ending. All 
these lifetimes of toil and torment. All for this beautiful moment of sublime perfection. Almost unbearably so. I bear to you the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service, unending. Oh. Frank don't care. You maybe have been able to manipulate him back in the 60s, but um, this isn't the same Frank Stone I'm thinking. What happened to Linda, though? I think at that point I'd just be running. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't matter, the whole world's gonna be consumed by this thing. Mom. We can't quite run. Okay, now this can't be real, right? Hmm. It's not really there. Are we sure this is a good idea? This is the only way we know for certain. And we have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah. So we can't take that film roll? Can we not take it? I think that's a pretty important thing that we might need to want to take, right? No? Okay. do with it we are we separate it we each take a piece then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can and we never never let them come back together again Oh, 
can't be our only option. I can't believe I'm actually suggesting this, but why can't we just burn the film? If this film strip really is holding him somehow, destroying it completely might just set him free. We can't let it hurt anyone else. That's the bottom line. Okay. Okay. Film strips never should have come back together. Okay, so I have questions then. Maddie said Bonnie had her film strip. But that's not, uh, I guess that's an alternative Bonnie. Mm. What happens next is my responsibility. Mine. You just need to go live your life. Never think about this again. Never tell anyone about what happened. You were never part of it. You don't know anything. You understand? Yeah, I think this got a little bit convoluted because um, if Maddie had a film strip, Stan was meant to have taken it from Robert. What? Why, Robert would never have given I'm it to him. Sure where I am. Right? Then memory floods back and I know our world is gone. Consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me. So it looks like we've got two options here. What am I picking up? What was that? Is that a ring? Looks like we have a door over here. And then we have fire over to the left. So does this mean that if I choose to go left, that's the kind of hellspawn way to go? I'm not sure. I'm going to check it out because it looks like we have to squeeze through here. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, Linda's there. just trying to help and he's now he's he paid a heavy price more than we'll ever know what did happen to Augustine I saw her on my way out and she had something she wanted to say but it wasn't worth hearing who are they they were here long before I came. I don't like this. We need to keep going. Come on. Go where? Wait, why haven't you kept going? Why are you just sitting here? It's been waiting, just like we all have. For what? For you. What? Everyone's arrived. Now we can begin. I don't want to go home. This is all there is. Whether killing or surviving, the Entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice, from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial 
I have some questions. I, I have some questions. I don't think I got the best ending. And I'm not entirely sure how I would have changed that. Um, I think I should have let Stan die when Frank Stone came through the, the film projector screen. I don't think I should have saved him. Um, and that would have freed up Sam. But, okay, here's my thing. A lot of the characters in the cast of Frank Stone are very irritating. Chris was very annoying. Harmy was very annoying. The only kind of people that I cared about in this game was Linda and Sam, because they were the only two that kind of had a reasonable logistical head on their shoulders. Madison was quite irritating. They were all irritating characters. So at the end of the day, when you give me an option, and the option is you either kill Sam or you kill Linda, I opted to kill Sam. Now, Linda just ran off saying that she would distract Frank Stone and then we just didn't see her again until she turned up in the woods by the fire and she seemed to be a different kind of person. I was getting the feeling there that she had died and she was uh, another entity. Uh, Augustine has released the Mind Flayer into the into the world. I'm not a, I'm not a I, I don't really know the law of Dead by Daylight, so I don't even know if that was a Mind Flayer. And how by bringing Frank Stone into this world did that rupture the, the Mind Flayer into this world? I'm not sure. There's a lot of questions here. Um, if they all broke up the film strips, then how did... Why would Robert, knowing what he knows, give it to Stan? You wouldn't just give that away. And I'm sensing you could probably try and sort of... Patch, there's, there's a lot of holes. There's a lot of plot holes is what I'm saying. Now, I know with these type of games, when you have branching storylines and one decision affects that decision, I wonder how throughout the whole game, the decisions I've made have actually amounted to me getting this particular ending. I don't feel like this was a good ending. I didn't feel satisfied with this ending. You just had Frank Stone howling in the night. You have Linda and Madison around a campfire. It kind of makes me think what would have happened if I had gone to the door at the end? And sometimes with these type of games, it does come down to like a 50-50 chance, like you either pick this way or you pick that way. Um, not sure. Would I be playing this again to find out different alternative endings? Probably not. I'm probably just going to go online and watch the endings now. Um, we did say we'd be going through this blind. I think I rescued many of the characters from the 80s. So Chris survived, Linda survived, um... Hame survived, Robert survived, but there's a lot of times where a lot of the characters you don't like Bonnie, I don't think we could have saved Bonnie. I don't think we could have saved Stan. Um, I think the only kind of characters that I inadvertently killed then was Sam and uh who was the other one? Was it just Sam? Yeah. Hmm. I'm left I'm left feeling a little bit indifferent, in all honesty, with that. I don't know if that's that with that particular ending. Could we could we have killed Frank Stone? Is there an ending where we could feel kill Frank Stone? I would feel more satisfied with that particular ending. Unless they're trying to bait this for a sequel? I'm not sure. Um Yeah. Well there you go, guys. That was the casting of Frank Stone. Did I get the best ending? Probably not. Did we kill some people? We did. We knew that was gonna happen. Um I think I found the trinkets in this particular playthrough. I think this is one of those type of games where you'll only be able to do 100% completionist if you play through it again and go through different paths. But uh, frankly, um, I, I think I'm done with the casting of Frank Stone now. Pros and cons. The music was really good. The music was atmospheric. It was very cinematic. Um, characters were a little annoying. I didn't feel myself empathizing with a lot of the characters that I'm meant to be empathizing with. Once again, there's a lot of sections that just feel like padding, just feel like filler. You're just walking around. Um, you're trying to read lore. I mean, you could probably speed run this in probably about, I would say, maybe four to five hours. There doesn't seem to be a way of skipping the scenes. The stuttering, the performance issues were really bad. I don't have the highest spec PC in the world, but the amount of stuttering and the amount of frame drops was ludicrous. I hope they come out with a patch to kind of fix that because even with my middle of the ground type PC rig, 
it shouldn't have been stuttering that bad. It pulls you out of the immersion. It pulls you out of the gameplay. Yeah, so overall, eh, it was okay. It was okay is all I can say about that. Um, I do feel like with these particular games, the ending always comes down to quick time events, whether people die or not. And if you've just spent four or five hours going through the rigmarole of walking through sewers and walking through mills and picking up this and completing the puzzles weren't particularly head scratchingly hard it's either just a case of fixing a generator where you have parts of the generator lying around why why even have that mechanic in the game if the generator needs to be fixed and the two parts are literally right by your side what's the point just say fix the generator do some uh quick time events you know there you go that's it So what we're saying is that if Augustine killed, <laughs> she can just bring in a different variant of an Augustine to carry on her mischievous plans and steam and her diabolical schemes. Is that what we're saying? Okay. Hmm. So let me know your thoughts on the casting of Frank Stone in the comments below. Like or dislike the video, and if you haven't already, please sub. Uh, it means the world to me. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.